What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to unbox and do like sort of a first impressions of a pen that was sent to me from Modern Fuel. Um, I've never seen the pen, never, I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, I have been sent this pen for the purposes of review, so I did not buy it. Um, so I don't know the cost. I don't really even know anything about it. I haven't done any research yet, but rest assured when I do my actual review of it, um, I'll let you know like all of the things they sent me promotional material to read so i will take a look at that um when i do the actual review but i wanted to do sort of a unbox no idea what's going on type uh first video uh and see what the difference are between that and once i get a little bit more familiar uh, which is typically when i do most of my reviews so this was sent with it, um, just kind of tells you a little bit more about the uh, pen itself. Um, each and every pen and pencil is cut out of a solid piece of metal, polished down to create a flawless look and hand finished. Um, and supposedly it lasts a lifetime, it will outlive you. <laughs> um, obviously I, I can't vouch for that, but uh, it lasts for a hundred years apparently. And then they have their logo on the back. And then the box itself. Um, I very much appreciate its slim packaging. It has a very nice, uh, soft, textured feel to it um, with the logo that's raised. I don't know if you'll be able to, you can kind of see that it's raised so it's textured the whole way. Uh, magnetic clip here. You hear Parker in the background. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so this is not a fountain pen, first and foremost. Um, this is just a regular ballpoint, which usually I don't uh, agree to review because normally I don't really like pens <laughs> that aren't fountain pens, especially ballpoints. Um, but I thought I'd give this one a go. Looks like there's the thing on the end so that it wouldn't dry out, which is cool. Um, the reason why I agreed to this is because I actually saw Peter Draw's video about this pen, um, and he said that this action here is, like, super satisfying, which I will agree with. <laughs> this is very satisfying. I could literally, like, just sit here all day and just play. Um, so I'm going to assume that these are spare parts uh, that they give you in case something breaks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick off the little cover here and make sure that that gets in the garbage. So that way uh, Parker does not end up eating it. And real quick, I'm just going to set this aside. Get out my little notebook here. And just, whoops, wow. I hit that like just by accident and it clicked right out. Like you do not need any pressure to do that. So I'll get it up and running here. There we go. Get all the little dried air bubbles out here. Yes, Parker, I know you want to play. So I don't think this is a rollerball. It's kind of like a, a gel, actually. No, so it is a, a gel rollerball. It's not a it's not a ballpoint. It's a gel rollerball. It's fairly smooth. Has good, yes, Parker, my goodness. It has pretty good, uh, I don't even know what that, like coverage. <laughs> um, if I can stretch and get my Retro 51. This is really the only other pen that I have. <laughs> this is really the only other pen that I have that is a uh, gel roller as well. I have not used this in many months, um, but it pretty much always starts up. This pen is still smoother. 
still smoother than this. This just rolls like glass. There's a little bit more drag with this one, but it's still pretty darn smooth. It's very heavy. It's very, very heavy. Like this uh, Retro 51 uh, is probably half the weight and yet a <laughs> much girthier pen. This is very heavy, but I'm sure there's some plastic in this, um, whereas this is 100% metal. And this is just so satisfying. My goodness. Um, I'm not going to mess around with the parts. I will save that for the actual review when I know what they're for. Um, so definitely stay tuned to that. And I will be here for the next 300 years just playing with this mechanism. Uh, so do any of you guys have any experience with modern fuel pens uh, or pencils? Uh, if you do, drop a comment down below. Uh, also leave a comment down below uh, if you like the way that this looks. I think that's it's kind of like... I, I, this is going to sound strange, but I, I kind of think it's sexy. It's so sleek. <laughs> it's just very heavy. Um, so yeah, leave a comment down below. Uh, I will have the actual like proper review up in a couple weeks uh, once I delve into the promotional material and figure out how to take apart this pen and put it back together and all that good stuff. Um, so I appreciate you watching this. Uh, I hope you are having a great day. Hit that like button and subscribe. Everything that YouTubers tell you to do. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.